the way that we're able to form amazing relationships, especially when we walk in a room, just how um, friendly we are, and especially when we meet another woman. Knowing that I am surrounded by and always being supported by so many amazing women. They say it takes a village, and I really believe that that saying goes well beyond childhood into your adulthood. And I'm just really blessed just to have those women around me just constantly uplifting me and motivating me to be the best version of myself I could be. The one thing that I love the most about being a woman is the power of femininity. It's the freedom I feel to express myself creatively. Um, I feel like there's not very, not very much judgment on women for being um, creative and colorful and um, playful in the way they dress and things that they do. I love my femininity and being able to own it. I love my beauty even though it is flawed. I love my nurturing side and I love my ambition and the knowledge that I can achieve great things because of the hard work of the women that came before me. The sisterhood bond that I have with other women because no matter your context, your situation, where you're from, your story, there are things that we will relate to because sometimes as women we have to prove ourselves extra hard over everybody else whether it be with an employer or if you go to certain businesses like a car garage people sometimes underestimate you and those experiences that we live make for a bond between, other, between women and that has to be my favourite thing the thing I love about uh, being a woman is the thing that we get criticised the most for, which is being emotional. I think our emotions are our greatest gift. So a woman who is able to understand her emotions, who is able to um, communicate effectively in spite of her emotions, um, and one who can control her emotions is a force to be reckoned with. Versatility. The ability to be both strong and sensitive, all wrapped up in the same human being, that's who I am. Both of those things seemingly at the opposite ends of the scale make up who I am and it's okay to be both. I think the question is, what do I not love about being a woman? Women, we are strong, we are resilient, we've got bounce back ability, we've got tenacity, we've got the ability to create life. We can turn a house into a woman. Being a woman is simply amazing. The first one I want to acknowledge is my mom for her strength, her passion, her demonstration that you can love the people a lot, care for them, be kind, and still love yourself, and still look after yourself. And she has big dreams. She always pushes me to achieve my dreams. And well, mom, if you're watching this, you inspire me. Michelle Obama, she signifies elegance and black excellence. My mother, because she taught me about resilience. My sister, because she taught me how to overcome trials and still smile. My consultant, a lady called Dr. Beaumont, who taught me how to be a boss at work and still show genuine care and empathy towards people. The woman who inspires me the most is a lady called Nicole Waters. So she is a business owner who creates um, a consultancy firm for business owners. I'm a business owner, so it's so inspiring to see how she was able to create a business as a mom, as a Christian, and it's just so inspiring how she's managed to build a multi-billion dollar business and also manage her home life as well. My grandma, uh, Kaka Bess, she is a woman who is incredibly generous. Um, she has this catchphrase um, that she always says, um, which is Segodia, that's in my language, um, and it means uh, to just give thanks, um, and she's always doing that. My mom was, and still is, one of the strongest women I know. My mom had the ability to take nothing and turn it into an amazing meal. My mom taught me to be strong, yet kind. She taught me to speak my mind, but also listen to the voice of others. She taught me to stand my ground, but also to have respect. She raised us 
to love each other and one of the legacy that she will, she's gonna leave us is the fact that family is everything so my mom is one of the most amazing women that i know alexis alford also known as lexi limitless she um at 21 she got the guinness world record for being the youngest person to have traveled to every country in the world and she went to a lot of those countries as a solo traveler and in, in this day and age where people still say it's too dangerous for women to travel on their own she defied that and did something which i think is pretty amazing so my mom had a very difficult upbringing my mom um was a person who could have spent her life complaining about her lot and she didn't do that what my mum taught me is that the cards that you're dealt in life you can't choose it's beyond your control and she decided that she wasn't going to let her past determine her future she made good choices and she taught me to make good choices so that I could have a better future